Hi, welcome to Stormwatch. I'm meteorologist Brian Good here at the Weather Channel. Very active yet again in the Northwest. We've had some nice weather here recently. Now we're talking about a series of fronts moving through. This means gusty winds, showers, and some snow for the Cascades. At least temperatures aren't too bad. We're talking about mid 50s, even mid 60s down toward Redding. And the system is going to have, again, one front moving through causing problems. You will see a little bit of a drop in temperature with some gusty winds in Seattle. And then a second front moves in as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Meanwhile, in the south, watching this storm carefully, it's heading eastbound. Got some moisture with it here, but notice moisture increases, but it's limited. The reason why it's limited is the Gulf of Mexico is just not that warm. Typically, we would see temperatures a little bit more warmer than this for late March, but it's been fairly cold across much of the uh, Gulf of Mexico water temperature wise. But the difference we're going to make up for for the potential for strong storms is the winds. Very strong winds with this area of low pressure, and that should be enough to create some strong to severe thunderstorms as we head through time. This little piece of energy will add to that wind potential a lot from the atmosphere, maybe add a little bit of a spin to it. So on Saturday, we saw some strong storms across areas of Arkansas as we head throughout the day. Though today, we're talking about the potential for strong storms in the Atlanta area, Augusta, and perhaps over toward Columbia. Isolated tornadoes not out of the question. We'll watch the situation very carefully. Then on Monday, as the low moves toward the northeast, the showers increase. And so do the chances for some gusty winds here across New England and maybe some very heavy rains in New York City as in the Monday night into Tuesday.